The most expensive car in the world. Numerous vintage automobiles with significant historical and sentimental worth are frequently making their way back to consumer markets despite their expensive pricing. Others, on the other hand, will never run on tracks due to the manufacturer's pride in their creation. The Mercedes Benz 300 SLR is one such vehicle. Hello, and welcome to yet another luxury driven adventure where we explore all things luxurious. The Roadster was built in 1955 and dominated racetracks before being archived because of its historical value. The renowned Mercedes Benz 300 SLR is valued at a stunning $42 million by antique automobile dealers and auction house experts. And while many wealthy collectors of vintage automobiles would like to purchase one of the remaining cars, Mercedes Benz makes it quite plain that it cannot and will not sell them. One of the key reasons for the model's astoundingly high worth is that it is a genuine work of art. The automobiles are highly rare and hold a great deal of sentimental value. Mercedes Benz produced only three 300 SLR Roadsters, and the 722 is presently valued at $42 million, as reported in our SL. That's over 7 million more than the next most expensive antique automobile, the 1935 to 1937 Bugatti 57 C Atlantic, which is valued at 35.5 million US dollars. Additionally, given Britain's most recognized Grand Prix driver steered the most dominant race car through the most difficult and romantic courses, it's unsurprising that many classic car specialists concur on the vehicle's high value. The car's performance and specifications set the bar for racing at the time. It was powered by a 2,982 cc M196 S straight 8 engine, rated at 309 horsepower and 229 pound-feet of torque. A five-speed manual transmission and rear-wheel drive were mated to the engine. The 300 SLR, according to fastest laps, has a max speed of 176 miles per hour. The creation of the 300 SLR racing sports vehicle was greatly influenced by the Mercedes 300 SL, with its distinctive gullwing doors, which made its Mille Miglia debut in 1952 and had its road going premiere in February 1954. This illustrious model served as the inspiration for the new racer, which had a lightweight but extremely strong tubular steel frame supporting an aluminum body. However, the 300 SLR distinguished out with a slew of unique characteristics. There was a 5-speed transmission, 16-inch wheels, and bigger brakes included. When the decision was taken in mid 1951 to develop a new Mercedes road-going sports automobile, Rudolf Ullenot was on hand to provide the required momentum for the project, dubbed the SL Sportlight. His engineering genius was responsible for the space frame, which was constructed by welding together filigreed steel profiles and supported the engine, transmission, and axles. 
He drew on his experience designing a tried and true technology that has served as a form of supporting structure throughout the history of motor racing and developing the frame. In the immediate post-war period, Ullenhout, who had previously contributed significantly to the Silver Arrow's success between 1937 and 1939, designed a series of smaller racing cars with rear-mounted engines incorporating a wide tubular frame with a central section that formed a high-strength triangular structure in front of the cockpit. This building was excellent, but it provided a new type of issue for Olenault's engineering team. The three-dimensional tubular steel frame required more space beneath the doors than previous builds, necessitating the relocation of the doorways. This eliminated the possibility of using conventional doors, however, in an unmatched demonstration of necessity being the mother of innovation, the team attached the hinges to the ceiling, allowing the doors to open upward rather than to the side. They gave birth to the famed gull wings. Rudolf Ullenhout reverted to this tried-and-true frame concept in designing the 300 SLR, as it had showed to be both stable and secure, as well as exceedingly light. The 1955 Milli Miglia version of the SLR weighed in at approximately 900 kilograms, with the engine accounting for 234 kilograms of the total weight and the tubular steel frame weighing just 50 kilos. While the 300 SLR's historical worth is practically incalculable, some believe the $42 million price tag is excessive. Classic automobile values are also affected by the frequency with which vehicles are reintroduced to the market. Some important surviving automobiles frequently resurface on the market, but you're unlikely to see another 300 SLR on the road. As always, this has been fun. Subscribe and follow to Luxury Driven for more adventure in the world of luxury. Thanks for watching!